Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Hill. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the Medical Director of Infection Prevention here at St. Tammany Health System. I'd like to talk a little bit about COVID, the vaccines, and a little bit about the current state of where we are at St. Tammany Health Systems. But before I begin, I wanna thank each and every one of you for taking care of our patients. I know that we're in the fourth spike of COVID. I know that many of you are tired, worn out, and somewhat frustrated at the fact that we're going through a fourth spike. But I know that all of you are giving excellent care and patients are our number one focus at this time. We wanna take care of our patients and our community. With that in mind, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about where we are and where we're going with this fourth spike. Unfortunately, we're just in the beginning of a fourth spike here at St. Tammany Health System and really across the state of Louisiana. This is a direct result of our low vaccination rates. This is primarily an outbreak focused on the unvaccinated and those that have not previously had COVID. We'll talk a little bit about breakthrough infections in vaccinated patients, but the focus right now is on the unvaccinated. Those are the folks that are coming into the hospital that require admission, that require ICU care, and in some cases die, unfortunately. This new Delta variant is a very different creature than what we first saw some 18 months ago. It is much more infectious, therefore much more contagious, and it seems to be much more virulent than the initial strain of COVID. The fact is, because we have so many unvaccinated people in our state, this virus has been allowed to mutate over and over and over again. And until we reach herd immunity, this will continue to happen. Many people have asked me, when is this going to end? And there's a simple answer to that. It's gonna be the easy way or the hard way. The hard way is many of our citizens are gonna to have to get infected with the virus and develop natural antibodies. And because of that, many will die or become sick and have chronic issues with long COVID. The easy way is for us to get vaccinated as soon as possible. Unfortunately, because many people still have questions about the vaccine, there is vaccine hesitancy. And I'm hoping today that we can answer questions that you may have. However, even after viewing this video, if you have further questions, we'll be happy to sit down one-on-one -on -one and answer your questions. There has been much in misinformation on social media. I want to address a couple of those key points that people bring up to me over and over again. The first is the misinformation on infertility. There is absolutely no data to suggest that any of these vaccines cause infertility. A very slick piece went out on social media that showed a possibility of this, but this was done by the anti-vaxxer community that used a small piece of truth and stretched it into a big lie. The other question that comes in is, will this affect my genetic makeup? And will this have long-term consequences on my health if I take the vaccine? And the, the simple answer is no and no. This is an RNA vaccine that only lasts in the body for 48 hours or less. It does not get into the nucleus of our cells, does not affect the DNA, and in no way can cause long-term issues. However, if you get COVID, a small percentage of us will develop long COVID syndrome, which can have devastating consequences. It can cause issues with brain fog, shortness of breath. There's some suggestion that people with type two diabetes may have worsening of their diabetes and chronic conditions. 
This vaccine has been given, and these vaccines have been given in over 166 million people in the United States. And the number of side effects reported have been very small and very limited. There's always a risk reward in deciding on any vaccine. And clearly now we have enough data to suggest that the reward of getting the vaccine and the protection it infers is much greater than the risk of side effects and is much better than taking your chances with a natural infection, which may have serious consequences and even lead to death. The vaccines are safe, they're effective, there have been breakthrough cases, but the majority of patients who develop breakthrough infections have mild symptoms to no symptoms, and very few are requiring hospitalizations. We are seeing some of patients who are immunocompromised get sicker when they do get infected because their immune systems were impaired and could not produce the immunity to protect them from the virus. These are the patients we're trying to protect, and that's why we need to get to herd immunity. We also need to try to protect our children, our grandchildren, and our elderly who may not be able to get vaccinated or may not develop immunity from the vaccine. We all have to do our part. Please look at all of the information available on reputable medical sources such as WebMD, Cleveland Clinic, Mayo Clinic, up to date to get your information. Do not rely on Facebook and other social media posts because there is much false information out there that looks very professionally done. I've had many people ask me, when are we gonna get boosters? Are there gonna be booster shots? And I don't have that answer at this time. I certainly think that may be a possibility and Pfizer has already said that they're working on a booster vaccine that will help increase immunity to Delta and other variants that are out there. People ask me what happens if we don't get to herd immunity. If we don't get to herd immunity, this will continue over and over again. We'll see recurring spikes of infection like we're seeing now with this fourth spike. The virus wants to continue to circulate, it wants to continue to mutate, and it wants to get better and better at infecting all of us. And if we don't get to herd immunity, there is always a possibility that this virus could mutate right out of viral protect, out of vaccine protection. If you want to get a vaccine, it's very easy to do. Basically, you can go to my chart or you can call the scheduling number to schedule a vaccine. And that number is 985-898-4001. You do not need an order to get a vaccine. Currently, you can walk in and get a vaccine at Express Care just down from the hospital on Highway 21. Currently there are three days available, but that may expand as vaccines uh, needs increase. I wanna thank those folks that have thought about getting the vaccine and are currently getting vaccinated. We've seen a significant increase in vaccinations over the last couple of weeks. And we've seen some of our nurses and ancillary personnel now thinking about and receiving vaccines. Thank you for doing your part. This is part of our mission to take care of our patients and our community. And the only way we can do that is by getting vaccinated. Once again, thank you for all you're doing for our community and for our hospital. I know that we're under tremendous pressure right now to take care of patients, sometimes with limited resources because of the sheer number of patients coming through our hospital. I wish you and your family the best and thanks for what you're doing.